The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from North Carolina, Ms. Fox, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I rise to recognize the National Future Farmers of America Week. Without question, the hardworking men and women in the field of agriculture serve as the backbone of our nation. Since its founding in 1917, the Future Farmers of America has prepared the next generation of chemists, veterinarians, entrepreneurs, and premier agriculture professionals. These individuals will go on to solve the world's challenge of providing resources to growing populations. In North Carolina, the Future Farmers of America continues to grow. Last year, it had over 20,000 members, and its 321 chapters contributed more than 1 million service hours across the state. When you see these young people in their dark blue jackets with the gold trim, you are seeing leaders and patriots. By learning to do, doing to learn, earning to live, and living to serve, the future farmers of America ensure that our nation's agriculture future remains bright. Mr. Speaker, I'd be remiss if I did not address improved comments about our nation's farmers that were recently brought to light. At an Oxford University event in 2016, Michael Bloomberg offered commentary that was truly unsettling. He said, quote, I could teach anybody, even people in this room, to be a farmer. It's a process. You dig a hole, you put a seed in, you put dirt on top, add water, and up comes the corn, end quote. When you write off America's farmers, you write off the lifeblood of our country. To show you the impact of our farmers, we'll look at the facts in just a moment. Contrary to the idea, as Michael Bloomberg said, that farming is so simple, the truth is that farmers must be among the most intelligent, innovative, and creative people in the world. They face challenges every day that threaten their survival. Now let's look at the facts. Annually, the U.S. one U.S. farm will feed 166 people in the U.S. and abroad. In 2018, 139 billion of American agriculture products were exported around the world. 98% of U.S. farms are operated by hardworking families and about 11% of U.S. farmers are serving or have served in the military, compared to only 2% of the general public, showing that American farmers are very patriotic. These facts speak for themselves. The work of American farmers goes far beyond Michael Bloomberg's claim of simply digging holes, planting seeds, and adding water. I'm proud to represent over 7,000 farms and over 11,000 agriculture producers in the 5th District of North Carolina. Collectively, they generate over $1 billion every year and represent almost 10% of North Carolina's agriculture sales. Recently, Allegheny County honored some of its farmers, young and old, and to hear of their efforts and dedication would inspire anyone. I commend and thank our farmers and our future agriculture leaders for their unwavering commitment to our families, communities, and to our country. Mr. Speaker, I yield back. 